Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Space Engine. So today we're going to be checking out more um, things that you guys um, want me to visit um, from the comments. So yeah, we'll get into that shortly. But first, just want to say a quick thanks to everyone who has subscribed recently because wow, I think we're already, I think we're almost at 3,300 now. So let's see if we can get that soon because that would be absolutely amazing. So if you haven't already subscribed for new, help us on the journey to 4,000. It's much, much appreciated guys. I haven't said it in a while, but just thank you so much. It is absolutely awesome how far we have came I like, just cannot thank you guys enough, it is awesome. But yeah, let's actually get into this. So let's go back to the planetarium, wait for it to load. So right now we're outside Andromeda, that's where I um, last um, visited. So I know someone definitely said we, first of all, we'll visit the largest stars. So you, wise, good to you. So I think, I'm guessing it's this one here, so let's go to it. No object found, what do you mean? I want to go to this one. Come on, there we go. Uh, you, wise, good to you. Okay, here we go. So it's back in the Milky Way here, and here we go. So. I've actually um, visited a star like this, um, another luminous supergiant. Now, what is up with the shape of this? Does anyone know? Because look at the shape. It. Why is it like that? Like, anyone know? Please, can someone tell me? Does anyone know why they are so weirdly shaped? Like, obviously, if we zoom out, they're bright again. But when you get close to it, oh god, let me just uh, go back to it. But look how weird it looks like if we um actually like land pretty much on the surface of the star here if we can actually do that look at this i don't think stars do this <laughs> like is it just me or, that, or is that something i'm missing here because it is a red hypergiant or super luminous hypergiant itself red luminous supergiant it says in the game but yeah it's a red hypergiant why is it like this why is it so mountainous is this a is i like does anyone know if this is actually possible like oh my god we're like glitched everywhere but i'm pretty sure i am like pretty much 90% certain that this is not correct. Like I, I, I'm sure it should not be this like this shape because it's not even a sphere. It or it is obviously sphere shape, but you'd think an object of this size would be um, a circle just due to the massive gravity on it and stuff. But this thing is nowhere near a circle or a sphere. Sorry, it's, you can clearly tell it's all bumpy and mountainous. Anyone know why that is? Please let me know. But it also has some planets, so I guess we can um, have a look at those. So, US Gutty 1. I actually didn't know US Gutty had planets. Let's go ahead and check these guys out. So, oh my god, that, there's a ton of moons. Wow, the US Gutty system is pretty big. So, it's got 32 moons. That looks like um, one of my planets in the universe sandbox. It looks like one of my brown templates. That's quite cool. So, let's have, let's have a look at some of these moons. Scorched asteroid. Actually, no, they're asteroids. They're boring. At least these have custom shapes. If Universe Sandbox did this, it would look so much better. Like, come on, Sandbox, give us stuff like that. It would look awesome. Okay, what else have we got here? These are all going to be boiling hot because, um, obviously, it's around UI Scotty. Look how big it is from here. Like, let's just land on, like, the top of the gas giant here, for instance. I mean, okay, that is pretty cool, but if we, um, if we, um, head out the cloud there again, so let's go ahead and do that, so... Okay, here's the cloud there, so if we go above it, just look. So this is pretty much the surface of the gas giant. Just look how big the star is in the sky. It's crazy. 666 degrees here. Okay, so this place is pretty much hell then. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Um, any other big moons around here? Scorch. We've got some Scorch to lean. Is there anything interesting there? Well, they're, they're probably not going to be... They're already going to be brown, most of these, because of just the temperature of them. So, yeah, there's not going to be anything interesting here, so... Let's just go ahead and zoom out. Obviously, if you guys want to check the system out for yourself, you can always download the game as well. Since it is a free game, or free simulator, I should say. So, yeah, you guys can get it um, if you want to get it. So, there is that. So, let me um, go ahead and look. See if there's any Actually, one thing we can do is if we just press this, we can see everything. So, this is everything in the system here. That planet there is quite large. The um, large gas giant, the number five. That's larger than Jupiter is. And then everything else is just... Um, boring old rocky planet. It's not really anything to look at here. But yeah, UI Scudsy, look at the shape of it. It's so weird. Please, can someone explain why it is this shape? Because it is very, very strange. Yeah, so there is that. So that's UI Scudsy. Now, um, they, the person, or, or a lot of you have also said we need to go to VY Canis Majoris. So we're going to do that. Actually, we need to... It has to be capital letters. You have to get them all right. So, so it should be like that. Nothing? Come on, VY Canis. Anything? Oh, V. Oh, did VY Canis. <laughs> I did it wrong. I'm, well, that was a fail. Is it this one here? Is VY. Is it this one? V, yeah, here we go. Here, VY Canis Majoris. It's a lot far away from UI Scotty. And the same thing here. Look, it doesn't have. 
like it, uh, it or, or sorry, it literally is the same shape as US Goody. It doesn't have a very sphere shape. It's very, very blocky almost. Is that really the word you call it? I don't know, but it's really weird. Obviously, if we zoom out, it's just a star, but yeah, there's that. So it also has a planet system, not as big as US Goody's, but yeah, there is its system. So again, it's just hot planets, not really anything interesting here. So yeah, pretty insane stuff that. So anyways, let's go into more of the comments now and have a look, see what you guys have said, because I've already had a read through a lot of these as well. Oh yeah, someone was like, pin this or no ice cream for a week, and I actually pinned the comment. <laughs> I don't know, I like on my ice cream. Okay, um... Please escape the universe and try and visit in something in the multiverse. I'm not sure that's in the game. Um, visit two mass. Okay. J1407B. I think I did that in episode one. We can always visit it again, though. So let's visit this one. I can't pronounce this one, but it's that really weird shaped asteroid. Let's see if it's in the game. So let's do it. And I've got to say again, the music is really cool. Okay, that's not in the game, sadly. Okay. Okay, let's see what else is here. So... Okay, two mass. Okay, so let's go to two mass. So two mass. And this is actually a brown dwarf, remember? It's this one here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, brown dwarf. I think this is the one for Universe Sandbox, but I don't know. But yeah, here's a brown dwarf. Now, I don't think this is what a brown dwarf should be. It looks like a red dwarf. But I think a brown dwarf should be a gas giant. So I don't know why it's um, a star, pretty much. And it has these, like, purple glows on it. It's pretty much got the northern lights on it, even though it's a star, which is really, really weird. But yeah, that's a brown dwarf. Very, very dim as well, and also has this obviously its little planet system. Get a look at them all up there. No, that's the wrong button. No, not that one. Okay, yeah, this one. So, yeah, this is all very dim, obviously, because the brand off is not bright at all. So, it's almost red from this distance. So, yeah, very, very small um, little brand off there. So, there goes the Milky Way again. Alright, so what is next? Okay, the next one is, okay, J4107B. So, that's the um, planet with the largest rings. So, we'll go ahead and visit that bad boy again. So, there we go. And also, guys, I'm thinking of doing live streams um, for Space Edge. What do you guys think of that? It's not in the game, though. No, there definitely is. Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's um, head back. So, it's quite in a similar place to the Brown Dwarf. Okay, so here we go. So, J4107B. So, if we zoom out, we should see the planet with the largest rings. Yeah. <laughs> look, how, look how big it is. Like, damn. So, here it is. So, here's the planet with the largest rings. Again, just look at those. Absolutely insane how large these rings are. So, there we go. Look at that, bad boy. That looks awesome. Just look at that. That'd be, that'd be quite a good um, farm now, actually. But, yeah, that looks awesome. So, there we are. So, there's a planet in the middle, obviously. So, it's slow down my velocity. You can get a real good look of the planet. So, yeah, there it is there. And this guy is quite large as well. So I think it's larger than Jupiter. So, there we go. There it is there. There's a, there's a good view of it. Look at that. Look how big these rings are. Like, if we just zoom all the way out. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So there, yeah, there's the um, planet with the largest rings again. So that's awesome. Okay, let's see what else we've got down here. Kepler-37b. Oh, yeah. I got the smallest exoplanet mixed up last episode. I think I called it something else. No, it's Kepler-37b. So we definitely need to check that out since it's the smallest planet. So, oh, God. So it's Kepler-37b. Yeah, I had a bit of a mind um, fart, I guess. Kepler-37, is that a thing? There's no Kepler 37? Oh no, it's Kepler dash 37. Okay, here we go. So this one, 37b. So this is the smallest exoplanet discovered. So it's only got 2000 radius. So the smallest planet ever discovered. Let's check this out. So it's a hot desert apparently. So here it is, it's got a white atmosphere. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that's looking pretty cool. Very, very bright here as well. Very nice. Oh yeah. That actually looks really cool. Let's actually um, hit play. Let's um, see this planet spin again. Look at that um, cloud on it. Oh, that's quite cool. Seems like this planet is rotating quite weirdly. Actually, where, where's the parent? Okay, okay. so that's the parent star. So pretty cool um, the way this looks. That spinning cloud at the bottom of it, though. That is pretty interesting. Anyone know what that is? Is it? Is it I'm getting, that definitely must be one of the poles, but that's a massive like cloud there. That's quite cool. So, yeah, there it is. I think we can go in flashlight mode, pretty much what this is. If we use this exposure option, which one of you guys mentioned, yeah, we can see behind the object. So there's a there's a full look of what it looks like from behind. Look how bright it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Crazy stuff. So let's, um, yeah, switch back to the default <laughs> option. There we go. Yeah, I, had a, I did actually have a little play around with these settings, actually. If we, um, if we do this, for instance, look at this. Look how many stars there are. Like, look at that. That really is 
looking cool. Look at that! That's crazy. Like, wow. So yeah, there's a smaller set of planet. Let's actually have another little play around with these, because you can also make the planets brighter. Oh my gosh. Just look at this. Look how bright we can make everything. And then galaxies. Look at this. Look at, look at the galaxies. Because remember, it's not just the Milky Way lighting up. It's also all of the other galaxies in the universe. So look at that. And then we'll see if we turn the stars up as well. Look at this. Oh my god. It can't even run. Oh, the lag. Oh my, we need to turn this off now. Oh god, what have I done? Default, default. Click it. Go, go. Come on, spam. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh, I've broken the game. Oh, default, go. Default. Click it. Come on. We have broken this. Is it going to crash? Oh, my god, we crashed the game. <laughs> we crashed the game. Oh no. Well, I guess we're making it open the new space engine up. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, that happened. <laughs> Jeez, that was not good. Okay, let's open the new space engine up. Oh, that, that just happened. <laughs> Is it going to open up? Come on, there we go. Right, is it um, open? Okay, you guys can see it. Can you get open space engine? Come on, go. There, there you go. No, I don't know if you just saw my stuff there, but yeah, it's nothing. It's just I was just reading comments. I think I think you saw my um, comment page. Oh, oh, I don't care. So yeah, let's go back again. Now we should probably switch those settings back. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so they did reset. Okay, cool. Yeah. So those settings. If you want to crash your PC, turn all that up. <laughs> that that is crazy. I'll crash the game anyway. So there it is. So let's actually um have check the stats of this little guy. So. Uh, let's um, have a little look at here. So here it is here. Smallest planet. So it's a hot desert as we already saw. There's um, that like tornado on the front of it as well. Pretty interesting. Yeah, Kepler 37b. So nice little guy. Uh, physical, anything interesting here? And there's all of its stats as well. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's the smallest planet. Okay, let's see what we have next. I can't believe I crashed the game. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um... See here, make your own planets. I have no idea how you're meant to do that. Um, okay, let's see here. What else we got here? Okay, okay. Visit 2014 FE 72. Okay, let's have a look at this. And apparently, let's also read what it says. Um, it's currently 50 AU from the sun, but it's on its furthest distance. It's mind blowing 40,000. Okay, so this thing goes all the way, well, not 40,000, but it goes to 40,000 AU at its furthest point, it seems. So, pretty crazy it takes 84,000 years to orbit the sun this object so let's see if we can find it so paste it in there so I'm guessing it is go oh no damn it so go to it's not in the game is it this one here is it all typed out right 2014 FE 72 yeah that's what it says so we can't go to it so I'm I'm guessing it's this. Uh, I don't know. No, it can't be. This is a 2015 one, but this is probably the closest we can get to it, maybe. How, how far away is this on the sun, anyway? Let's zoom out here. It is pretty far. Like, as we can see here, that's Iris there. And obviously, that one was all the way out here. So, pretty crazy stuff here. Yeah, it's just a tiny little world. Not really too much to look at here, but this is something quite similar to it. I don't think it's the actual object, since it's not even doesn't look like it's in the game. But yeah, here it is here. Um, one it could be similar to it. So let's actually have a look. Does it have a custom surface? I think it looks like it does. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, look, here we go. It's a mountainous terrain. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh yeah. That's looking good. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's that little um, object there. Okay, let's see what else um, you guys have said. I think someone wanted to go to Pluto. Um, let's see. Visit Pluto and Trappist-1. Yeah, let's go to Trappist-1 first. Actually, no, since we're, in the, since we're in our solar system, we'll just go to Pluto. So here's Pluto. So let's um, go to it. Okay, so we're traveling all the way over here now. So here's Pluto. And look at, this is quite weird. Look at this. The half of it isn't even textured. <laughs> very, very strange. It's also got a white atmosphere. So actually, we need to get a modded one of these. So we have, we have Pluto with a white atmosphere in Universe Sandbox because it would look so much better if we do that. So yeah, there is Pluto. So looking quite cool. And obviously, it's got a smooth Caron as well. Yeah, there's good old Pluto, so it's um, speed up so it can rotate to the correct side because it's looking horribly ugly right now with that giant blank area. So yeah, there's um, Pluto. Not the most detailed um, one of the objects in this game, that is for sure. But yeah, there's Pluto there. 
So there we go. Let's get let's go to its moon now. So Caron, let's go to you. So let's zoom in on here. So here it is. It's also um not very well textured as well, Caron. So let's just land here. Let's have a look around. Where, where's Pluto at? There it is. So if you look up in the sky, that's what you'd see, which is quite cool. So yeah, there is Caron, but yeah, there's not really too much to look at of these guys since they're not very well textured. As you can see, only half of Caron's done. And then Pluto's missing a lot of its texture as well. Even though we should have Pluto fully mapped out, I'm sure we do, but yeah, pretty um pretty weird how that um or Pluto appears like that. So yeah, now let's go to Trappist 1. So I'm guessing a lot of these objects are gonna look red since um it is a red dwarf. So let's go all the way over here. It only has three planets in this game? Okay, they need to update that because it has more than that now. B, C, and D. Yeah, there's like an E, F, G, and H now, Trappist 1, so definitely top there. But here's Trappist 1, so it's obviously a little different to the red dwarf or the brown dwarf since it is a little brighter than the brown dwarf, so there it is there. Can we actually land on the sky? Oh god, we're on a star. See, this is what um, the Canis Majoris or US Goodie should be, I'd say, but for some reason they're not like it. Really weird. Yeah, if anyone knows why they're like that, please let me know. So I'm really interested to know why they look like that. So yeah, there is the star. Now let's go and look at the planets. So they're all very close together, so we should be able to spot them quite easy. So actually, where are they? Come on. Let's... There it is. Okay, let's have a look here. Actually, let's land on the surface as well. So it's just a mostly a brownish orange looking object. It's a cold ice world. But the only reason it's red is due to the um, star colour. So there we go, so actually yeah, land here, let's have a look. So, any custom surface? Um, yeah it does! Oh, that is a very, look at that view! Oh wow, that looks spectacular! Look at that, wow! That looks really cool! So here we go, oh we're like inverted, but wow! Look at that view, that looks amazing! There we go, so let's um, use these controls, someone mentioned about um, using the Q and the E key to do that, but wow! Look at that view, that looks amazing, let's turn off orbits! Look at that. Wow. That is a really nice view. Wow. That looks amazing. They had a little red dwarf star on the surface of this planet here. Any of the other planets in sight? Let's have a look around. Anyone? Hello? Oh, there's one there. Yeah, there's another planet. That's Trappist, um, that's Trappist 1C, so that's the next planet out. Can we see the Trappist D? Is that around? No, it doesn't look like I can see it. But yeah, pretty cool. That, that view is amazing. So, there we go, let's put that back up, wow, that looks amazing, so, yeah, I took a screenshot of that, that, that is really cool, so, let's um, have a little look around here, so, I love it when the planets have detailed surfaces like this, they just look absolutely amazing, just look at that, wow, yeah, so there is um, another view of it, oh, it looks really cool, okay, so, where is the next planet, so let's go back to orbit mode, let's see if we can spot it, so, there's the next planet, oh yeah, the next one, this one's really far out, so I don't think this one is called D anymore. I think there's more in between C and then this one here that we have found more recently. I don't think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's more in between these two here. So this one here probably isn't called Trappist 1D anymore, I'm assuming. Okay, so let's um, go to the next one now. So here it is. So let's lock onto you. And here we go. So obviously a very similar look to the previous planet since there's not really anything too spectacular around on these objects. So let's land on this guy's surface get a different look so let's see here so let's head this way so I'm guessing the start is this way so there's the other planet oh, there, oh there's the start okay it look, definitely looks feels a lot darker here I have to say okay so let's um, travel all the way around here reminds me of Mars almost the color of this guy so okay here's the nighttime zone so oh yeah look at that and obviously the neighboring planet is somewhere somewhere I don't know where it is Okay, yeah, look at that. That's a, very, that's a cool view as well. Wow, look at that. Turn that off. Look at that view. Wow. Get yeah, another screenshot of that. It looks awesome. It's a really cool um, screenshot you can get in here. Oh, no, no, there's the surface. It's loaded in now. Some more of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got another awesome view here. Wow, look at that. It's got all the mountains as well. Oh, yeah. That looks amazing. Let's get like a cool shot of the. That looks awesome. So let's get uh, F11. There we go. That looks really cool. So. Wow, oh, look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Let's just completely leave that object behind now. That is really, really cool. I really like that. Pretty cool objects. Okay, let's check out the last Trappist object. Might as well. So, here we go. There we go. I'll say it again as well. The music in this game is awesome. So, there is that. But here we go. Oh, it's got some northern lights on this guy. Okay, cool. So, oh, God. 
Surface is loading in as well, so obviously similar to the previous two. They're all very similar, the way they look. I don't want to press that. Um, so yeah, there we go. So if we look up, the Red Dwarf will obviously be smaller in the sky, wherever it is. Wait, where is the star? Oh, there it is. Yeah, a lot smaller in the sky here. Obviously due to its further distance, so there we go. Yeah, definitely a lot further away. You can also see, obviously, the other two planets. You can clearly see them there, where my um, cursor is. I oh, know you can't see my cursor, but you can see where I'm clicking. So yeah, those two guys there. Obviously got the star as well. Yeah, that is looking really cool. Wow. Can I click away? There we go. Not as good view as the other two. The star's too far away on this one. But yeah, those two there look awesome. So yeah, and even in the trapper system would be quite interesting because you'd be able to see a lot of other planets in the sky. Like, pretty crazy. Obviously, the milk won't be as large as the moon is from Earth, but the moon isn't that large anyway. But you could get some really cool um, shots of the sky, honestly, of all this. Oh, look at all these craters. I love how detailed all this is. Like, look at this. It's so cool. Obviously, they don't look like this in real life since we don't really know what they look like at all, but still i love how the game developers have actually taken the time to like give these custom surfaces and stuff like it's, it's pretty cool so oh, if only universe sandbox did this with random generated objects that would be the coolest thing ever if universe sandbox did this with um custom objects obviously maybe stuff not like earth and stuff but they could probably map out mars the moon to have a terrain like this and also random spawn planets as well but it would just be awesome and maybe even venus as well but yeah there we go so there is Trappist 1, oh, so this is Trappist 1D, but I don't think it's called D anymore, I think this is a different one. Yeah, that is awesome, so yeah, it's um, goodbye to the Trappist system there, so goodbye. Let's just zoom all the way out now. So yeah, there we go. So back to the Milky Way again. Yeah, but honestly guys, I think that will do it for today's episode. So yeah, if you like the video, subscribe more, helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers because that would be awesome. Make sure you don't turn up your settings to make the game crash like I did here, because that was crazy. But yeah, this is just... Look at that, wow! Oh my god. Yeah, that's all the all these large objects you've seen up here. They're all star clusters, it looks like. That's crazy, and obviously the galaxies menu. Oh my god. We won't put it too high, but look at that. That's like the whole universe we're looking at, or, or the observable universe, so anyway. So yeah, there we go. But anyways, I think next episode, we are going to escape the universe, if it's even possible, which I think it is. We are going to leave the universe. So, we'll probably, it won't be, I don't know how long the video will be, but we're going to do that. So, yeah, there we go. So if you've got any more ideas for what we should do in Space Engine, leave them in today's or this video's comments, um, if you want to see it in the next episode after the one where I escaped the universe and yeah that's everything guys Wait, is that a green star there what's that what is that green star what is this oh it's a cloud okay I was gonna say was that a green star that looked awesome like if we zoom out again it's a green star it looks like a green star that's cool so there's actually green star they, well, they look like green stars they're not stars but that's that's cool so yeah, there we go guys, but enough of me babbling on now, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe for more and all that good stuff, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.